if you're hitting a heavy ball, then you, you'd want a bit more mass on your racket to try and counter some of that. Also, if you're playing with new balls all the time because they're heavier, there's always a compromise between power and control. So you either have a control or you have power and you, it's hard to get both at the same time. My racket, your racket, the pro staff, they're all control rackets where the weight is in the handle rather than the head. So it's got good maneuverability, but uh, it suits a, a more advanced player, that style of play, because you, you've got to be able to generate your own power to, to have more focus on control. I mean, you have no problem with power on your shots. You're better off having a bit more control with your racket set up. But then you'll get different styles of players, like Rafa Nadal, for example, who uh, has a, a lighter racket with a bigger head size and uh, a more powerful setup. You'll tend to stay with your racket throughout your tennis career and build your game around that. And then you'll, you can change your peripherals up. You can change your grips, which you've been working on. And I think you've come to find a grip that you like. The grip set up and you've got uh, your strings as well. Or you can add a little bit of weight. I mean, you've got your racket, but that doesn't mean it has to stay at that balance and that weight. You can add lead strips. All the pros add little bits of lead here and there and then adjust the balance and the weight on the racket.